Good morning, caregivers. It is Wednesday, March 6th. Welcome to What's Going On with Mama. We are broadcasting from Rock Hill, South Carolina, and if you stepped outside this morning, it is cold. It is really, really cold. It's in the 20s. Ooh, that's teeth chattering kind of cold. I've been trying to get out and walk in the mornings. Why? Because it's good for me and it's good for you too, but I'm telling you, today I'm gonna wait a little bit, let the sun come up, let it warm up some. Well, today I'd like to thank our sponsors, Life in the Carolinas. Go to their website, lifeinthecarolinas.com, and you're going to see a recent uh, little uh, advertisement for their newest episode about Blackbeard and a six-pound cannon. It's really interesting. And as they like to say, it's never a bad time for a good story. And that's what you'll find at lifeinthecarolinas.com. Vitamin Depot on Selenese Road. Their phone number is 803-328-5800. They're behind Dunkin' Donuts, a local business. They very much want us all to shop local instead of the big chains. Boy, am I all over that one. And ask them about the the product they have called Influx 650, which is good for getting inflammation out of your body. Mm -mm -mm. You know one of the worst things that causes inflammation? Sugar. Ooh, gotta stay away from that stuff. Kudos to my husband, the cameraman, who last night passed up birthday cake. He passed up birthday cake. I asked him, was he dead? I thought I better check, make sure he's still breathing because the man dearly loves birthday cake. I said, why'd you pass up birthday cake? And he said, sugar causes inflammation. Well, amen to that. I just was so proud of him. I'd like to give a special shout out this morning to Substation 2 at 403 North Cherry Road. You can reach them at 803-329-0073 and place your lunch order. They are known for having the freshest food. They are all about fresh is what they say. They cut their meats and their cheeses and their vegetables right there in front of you. We ate there on Sunday. We taste tested a vegan product that Charlie's thinking about offering Oh man, it was good. The barbecue sauce they put on it, mm -mm -mm. I had it on a wrap, made me oh so very happy. Cause you know, this girl doesn't eat meat. So that was a welcome addition. They are a 13 time winner of best sub shop in York County. Well, way to go substation to check them out. Well, I don't know if you watched yesterday's episode, but I wanted to bring to your attention again, the, the new version of the Serenity Prayer. It's just been on my brain. And something happened to me yesterday afternoon that this morning made this thing came come to my brain and slapped me up against the face and said, Carol, pre you know, practice what you preach. But here it is, just in case you missed it yesterday. God, grant me the serenity to accept the people I cannot change, the courage to change the one that I can, and the wisdom to know it's me. Woo-wee, mm-hmm. Preaching to myself this morning. Hurts a little bit, too. I don't like preaching to myself. I'd rather preach to you, you know? <laughs> so, I spend a lot of time working one-on-one -on -one with folks who have dementia or other cognitive issues and in various stages of their disease. We, as I told you yesterday, we go into people's homes or into the community where they live and we sing with them, we play handbells. Played handbells yesterday in my mama's group home. It was my mama and one other lady because there's only three residents there right now. They have an opening in that group home. If you're interested in the very best care I have seen in a community, <laughs> you email me, carol at let's talk dimension, we'll talk. But anyway, so it was mama and one other lady and a couple caregivers, Michael and myself, and we played handbells. My mama is very advanced in her disease and is, de and is declining rapidly, but I was able to help her when it was her time to ring her G bell. She was playing the G bell, and when it was time for that bell to be played, I could help her ring it. And the funny thing is, mama would ring it on her own a few times, but it was never when I wanted the G bell to be played. It was when it was the F bell time or the C bell time. Isn't that life? But there are other things that I do with folks, and I wanted to show you a couple of them today. So my cameraman's here today to help me. There is a company called Active Minds. Now, I don't get paid by these people, but I wanted to share with you a couple of their products today, and I'm gonna show you some next week. Active Minds, they are all about uh, particular games or activities for folks with dementia. This one's called Sensory Snap Weekends at Home, and it is a sensory game. So if you feel here, I don't know if you can tell up close, can you see this, Michael? This feels like, it's to look like, and it does kind of feel like grass. This is cat fur, 
Hmm, not quite sure what that is, but it feels different. So let's open it and see. And all of their uh, products are self-contained. You can see this has a magnetic closing here, so you don't lose parts. I think that's important. You're busy. You don't need to figure out how to keep up with the various parts. It has that magnetic close. Up here are a few suggestions of questions that you can ask while you're working with someone. If you run out of things to talk about, they'll give you some thoughts here. And so what we have here are six different little squares that the way I play this um, or use this with folks predominantly is I just lay these six things out. Now, depending on how far along they are in their disease, I may only present one at a time rather than laying all six out. If I lay all six out with my mama, it's going to be way too much. So I will take the first square and I will go ahead and make sure in my hand I have the right thing and then I'll take something that's the, the wrong uh, piece for that square. So can you tell what's in that square there? Let's, can you zoom in there? It's to look like, or it is, a pair of work gloves. See the little nubby black spots? And that's what this is. This is the fabric from those work gloves. Well, then I'm gonna hold with it something totally different. And I'm gonna say, Mama, what do you see there? Well, my mom is probably not gonna answer because she's not saying a lot of words, but my other folks might answer. And then I'll say, which one, of, I gotta hold this up here, which one of these two pieces matches that? Now, I'm leading them towards success because see how I've got the yellow one is off to the side. It's not as, as dominant in the picture. And the one that matches, I'm kind of, you know, motioning that it's this one, leading them to success. Which one of these do you think matches those gloves? And hopefully, they're going to point to this one and you just fit it right in here, okay? Now, we're going to go to the next one. I'm going to get something totally different. Mama, what do you see there? That to me looks like a cloth we would right wipe something with. Which one of these do you think matches the cloth? And again, I've got that very close and the, the grass piece off to the side. Maybe we need to feel them and because it is a sensory activity, let them feel them and see how different it feels. And mama, when you feel that, what does it feel like to you? Is it soft? Is it scratchy? What does that feel like? What does that remind you of? Now, which one of those do you think matches that square? Now, if mama chooses the wrong one, she chooses the grass, I would go, hmm, what color is that grass? And maybe your loved one will say green, or maybe they won't, but you can say, that looks kind of like a yellowy orange color to me. Which one of these looks closest to that color? And if they choose the right answer, then you're gonna put it in there. Now, if they don't choose the right answer, I'll keep working with them and giving them obvious tips and hints till they get the right answer. This one is kind of interesting. This one I have to explain, and I would have to explain it to a lot of people. It is supposed to be a piece of a mirror. And what they have here, and I think the picture here is a little hard to see, it is a side view mirror from a car. So we're gonna hold this up and you go, what do you think that is? Gosh, to me, it kind of looks like a side view mirror on the car. I give them that hint because I'm not sure a lot of people would figure it out. And then pick up something totally different. And here we've got this furry piece. Well, see, now the furry piece is kind of that color. Hmm, that might not be the option I wanna give them. So again, I'm gonna find something totally different or maybe the grassy piece again. That's totally different, isn't it? Which one of these do you think you could put in that square that it would match up? Does that look like grass or does that look like a mirror? Which one? And hopefully they'll choose the mirror. And you're gonna keep doing this until you line them up. So here we have a grass, the little girl in the grass. I love the kitty cat. It kind of looks, looks a lot like our cat, Carson, who we locked out of the room today because he likes to stand on the desk while I record. So here is the fur. And then this is a chamois cloth and it matches up to that. Isn't that neat? It's just a simple thing. Um, the questions they have here, is this soft? Is it hard? How does it feel? Do you like how this feels? Does this feel good to you? What does this surface remind you of? So questions you can ask. And then when you're through, seals up, magnetic. Isn't that neat? I think that's super neat. Active Minds, go to activeminds.com.
Now this is about, this is truly, as we're talking about our cat Carson, this is the cat's meow right here. I have done this with so many people. These are um, painting sheets. Do you remember how you used to get those pages um, when you were growing up? I know I did, where you could paint with water and the color appeared, but after you had done it, that was it. You could never paint them again. Well, this is similar, but better. And again, this seals up nice and neat. Little Velcro closing opens up. And there, there are these cards inside here. And I've chosen the one on top I want. But there are, I think it's five different cards. One, two, three, four, five. Here are the pictures. And this particular um, collection is all about transportation. So, Michael, if you can zoom in here. We've got one with, I'm going to put my glasses on. I tell you, I'm getting blinder as the days go by. Um, a train, a car. What is that? That's like a scooter, a motorcycle, and a double-decker bus. And they're all pictures from the past. They're not pictures from the present, but they're things that your loved one might relate to. So I have chosen this one. So what we do is we just take water and we take a paintbrush. Now, don't get those teeny paint brushes because your loved one's going to get very frustrated that they don't get to see results quickly. Michael, should I put something under this? Can you see it? Let, let me put it under here with my glass desk. It might be a problem. If you have somebody with very advanced dementia, you might want to go to Home Depot and buy those foam brushes that you can actually paint your house with. I would think I would use that with Mama. But notice how I paint just with water that the picture starts appearing. Isn't that neat? You can't do it wrong. And the neat thing is you can paint all the way to the edge. The entire edge is part of the picture. And you can't paint it wrong. If you spill it, it doesn't matter. This is this paintbrush is really too small because it takes a lot of paint. I really do like the idea um, of the foam brushes like you would paint in your house with. And so you just get them to paint. You know what you can do too? For those that can't hold the paintbrush, we can use our fingers. Because I can tell you, my mama has a whole hard time. That hand-eye coordination for mama to feed herself is off. And so the hand-eye coordination to use that brush is off. But we can use our fingers. And look at the picture. Isn't it neat? I just got to get it finished so you can see it here. I don't know how I'm doing on time. Oh man, I'm running out of time. I've got to show you here. So you can't do it wrong. Now, why is this better than those things that you had when you were growing up? See the completed picture? That is so cool. That is so cool. The reason this is better is this will begin to dry. And as it dries, the picture goes away. And as the picture goes away, it will look like this. And when it's dry, you can pull it out and do it again and again and again, which is good because they're a teeny bit on the expensive side when you first think about it, but then when you realize you can do them, I don't know how many times, probably hundreds of times, I don't know if you'd ever wear them out, I guess you could, we haven't so far, but they're just, you can just use them over and over and over again. It's really a wonderful thing. Go to activeminds.com, oops, and you will find you will find these. They've got several different um, packages. This is transportation. I forget all the different categories they have, but I, I own them all. So next week, on next Wednesday, I'm gonna show you a few more of their products and, and a couple other type things that we use, some of them from your childhood that are a lot of fun. So I hope that gives you some ideas of some things that you can do with your loved one. We do love playing with the paint and it's nice and neat. And one day we were doing this painting and I looked over and one of my people just picked up the water and was drinking it. But you know what? There was nothing in the water so it didn't hurt anything. And then I looked over one day and a lady was painting hers with her cup of coffee and it actually did work too. So, <laughs> you know, you gotta go with the flow. So I'd like to thank our sponsors, Vitamin Depot. Check them out on um, Selenese Road. Their phone number, 803-328-5800. Call them, ask them to tell you about Infla 650 and their other products, and he can ship to you no matter where you are. Life in the Carolinas, where it's never a bad time for a good story. You know what that means, my time's up. I'm almost through, be quiet. It's never a bad time for a good story. Life in the Carolinas, lifeinthecarolinas.com, and Substation 2, 
403 North Cherry Road. Tell them Carol with Let's Talk Dementia sent you, and you tell them you might be interested in trying that vegan sandwich. Uh-huh, you're going to be surprised at how good vegan food is. I'm going to convert you yet. And our scripture for today is from Isaiah. Fear not, for I am with you. Hallelujah for that. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. Again, hallelujah for that. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Have a good day. I hope your caregiving journey is a good one. See you tomorrow, and we're going to make Greek onions. Blessings and smiles. Bye-bye.